Welcome back to Folsom Prison. I'm your host, longtime listener. Be sure to drop a like, hit that subscribe button, and comment below. Um, before we get too far into this, let's make sure we double check. Okay, so we've got some inmates that are rolling in here. Um, I wanted to make sure there were no like ex-law enforcement or snitches. Um, I think that those things are pretty much like revealed immediately like here it says unknown reputation and that doesn't change even once the prisoner is being escorted or whatever so i think like there's not a whole lot that we can get from um like additional research or whatever so anyway we made the big purchase at the end of the uh, last episode where we've got all of this land up here <laughs> Um, so it's going to be interesting how things shake loose whenever we decide to expand northward. Uh, I'm thinking that we do it all on this side for starters. We'll just, you know, drop a little compound in here. We're going to have to probably copy parts of the other venues, but it might be a little bit difficult because like if I try to copy this staff room, like I don't need offices anymore. Uh, in fact, I've got offices over here that just aren't even being used because I don't need them for anything. Like I could bring in more foremen, um, but I don't even really need them. So there's just stuff going on from that perspective that it's like what, you know, I, I just don't have a use for uh, that. So anyway, I think the wiser move would be to copy this staff room and I'd have a psychologist office right there. I need to decide what I'm going to do as far as common rooms and stuff. I'll probably just have all of these with the exception of the workshop. I don't think I want to have a workshop in a maximum security facility. I want to have them have some amenities um, to hopefully keep their morale up. But what I don't want is something where it's like, okay, obviously in here they can craft weapons of various uh, types. And we just don't want that. So we'll see how that's going uh, whenever we get there. But for right now, the good news is it seems like, for the most part, things are going well at both of these facilities, with the exception of people getting murdered because I am dumb and wasn't paying attention close enough uh, to watch for criminally insane or uh, ex law enforcement snitches. And snitches get stitches. So, anywho's. We'll need to keep an eye on the uh, intake situation as we get uh, towards the end of this day. There's really not a whole lot that I need to do for now other than just kind of watch and see what's going on. If there are tunnels detected, we will react accordingly. Um, I wonder if having all of this land up here, like see, well, I guess that doesn't matter. But I wonder if having all this land up here means that, like, my gardeners, are they going to go up here and cut down trees or, or do anything silly way up yonder? Or do they only focus on the general areas where there are, uh, like, structures? Like, see, this guy is outside cleaning up. He's just raking leaves or whatever. But, like, do they only do that within a certain range like what is this dog handler doing why would he come all the way from over there instead of coming from this kennel straight down <coughs> goodness gracious y'all what in blazes why are there ingredients sitting out here in the middle of a field it's a struggle y'all all right let's sell off some of these recycling bags so that they aren't clogging up my uh, deliveries area. 
I can't do anything about trash. I'm going to start just letting them take the... Actually, you know what? I don't care. Just sell the exports. I get the same amount of money for them. It just doesn't... I don't think that this number is accurate whenever you sell these directly, but it's not a big deal. As long as I know that my cash flow situation is good, I don't really care exactly what this number says. Because um, it fluctuates a lot day to day. I wish it would stay relatively consistent. Um, but it changes because of like shop funds or revenues or whatever. And then it changes because of the amount of exports that day. I think um, prisoner release volume can influence that number. So whatever it's not a big deal we just need to know like we started the episode with 26,000 we want to end the episode with about 50,000 ish maybe more more would be awesome <coughs> um but i think all we really need to be doing is look at staff morale up to 95 percent. there you go boys all right so anyway what should we talk about? Oh, um, I've got a couple of job interviews in the works at the moment. Um, I like what I do and I like where I'm doing it, but it has been stressful lately because of the supply chain issues. Um, and frankly, we made a decision as far as raising prices that I it doesn't sit well with me. It doesn't sit well with our customers and since like our customers being happy with us and buying stuff from us is a direct you know impact on my career then you know i'm not sure that i agree with the decision the way we did it so anyway um i'm open to seeing other job opportunities and you know i've had a couple of recruiters that called recently and some nice positions that are open man there are two that i'm interviewing for where my income would essentially double which would be stellar and i'm talking like the base salary before commission is like 30 percent more than what i generally make right now on an annual basis and that's a big deal um, cause we'd be talking basically doubling my income if I reach my target commission payout or whatever. And that's the kind of pay bump where like my wife can go part time or completely get out of veterinary work altogether and go like full time military instead or, or whatever. But the bottom line is she's working way too much. And if I were to get a job like that and be able to do it for a while, that would be huge for us because of the fact that that would free up <clears throat> some uh, wiggle room with her salary that we could cut back her hours in veterinary and not really feel it. Because she wants to do that, but every time we crunch the numbers, it's like, man, if you take one day a week off, you know, beyond what you're doing right now, <clears throat> it would really make things tight for us to be still putting away toward retirement and towards the girls' college and and saving some money at the same time or whatever. So it's, you know, anyway. Fingers crossed that that all works out uh, for the best. You know, sometimes it's best that you don't get an offer like that and you stay where you are. Um, it just, you know, sometimes you never know how things are going to work out. and You might be a little bit upset about something because it didn't go your way at first. And then you realize years later, like, man, it's a good thing that uh, I left that job. Or I didn't take that one, or, or whatever. So, anywho's.
that's the big news on the personal front. Oh, let's check here. So we've got room for four minimum and five medium. So intake should be just nine. And that is dead on right there. So. And then here, that criminally insane capacity is getting to where I'm a little nervous. I've only got room for six more. I mean, that's basically like... I've got seven right there. So... And this side only has one spot still open. <coughs> so there's still five over here, apparently, but just one over here. But I would prefer to not have to deal with changing any of that. All right, come on with this. Let's get this stuff out of here, boys. I don't need this backing us up. Nope. Whoops. Didn't mean to say search the room, but it's okay. Didn't take very long. All right. So... There's a bag of trash. There's a bag of trash. There's a bag of trash. I think we're done with exports, at least. So there's a little bit of trash we still need to get out of here, apparently. Uh, but that's not so bad. So let's keep the trucks moving here. Uh, day 139. See, it says we lost money yesterday, but yet we're still up 4000 from where we were before. I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, what's up with that? <clears throat> so... Maybe it's like a rolling average of the last 24 hours or whatever. I don't I don't know. Does this change every hour? Oh, well, it didn't change there. So I don't know, but it's not a big deal. All right. Uh uh-oh. We had a shower a toilet bust. But we got it fixed. Everything's okay. Might want to clean that cell up, though. That's kind of messy there, guys. So, anywho. What, uh, I had something else I was going to talk. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Pick up that lighter. Or whatever that is. Guys. Why can't I click on that thing? Oh, he picked it up. Whoa. Can I search him? He's got contraband. Um, so Georgia won the national championship. Beat Alabama. Love it. I kind of had a feeling that they would. You know, Alabama got the better of them in the SEC championship. And it's hard to beat a really good team twice. And everybody kind of knew that Georgia was a really good team. They, you know, maybe had some doubts after Alabama beat them the way they did in the SEC championship. But, <coughs> you know, we still knew they were good. And they had a chance to game plan. Um, and obviously, whatever they figured out worked. So... Good for Georgia. Alabama's been there before, so sometimes it's kind of nice that um, another team gets a little slice of the glory pie. So, anyway. Seems like time is moving a little sluggish lately, and I'm wondering if it's because I added all this, or maybe it's the snow. I know when I play... Um, stardew valley if it rains a lot of times it makes my computer lag a little bit and i don't know what it is about those visuals that would do that but not a big deal all right are we still good here four and five yes we've got three in max 
um, maximum security. That one's going to be here for a while. This guy might get out soon here because he served over half. And I think at three quarters, they're up for another parole hearing. So that would be like somewhere right in here. So he's close. And then same thing with this guy, maybe. So we'll see. But the fact that he murdered someone, probably not going to go well with the old parole hearing. All right, lock up. So that means let's execute a tunnel search. <coughs> Excuse me. And then let's be on the lookout for um, – see, this is bad. Why? Oh, okay, they're in showers, and he's out wandering around. I was like, this is not good. We don't want them roaming around. I don't see any – Ex law enforcement, other than the yellow dude. So let's. Ooh, ooh, this is bad. Another legendary dude. We don't want this. We don't want the legendaries. <laughs> I don't know if you ever watch uh, Letter Kenny. I think it, it's on Hulu right now. Um, it's been out for like seven or eight years, I feel like, but it's freaking, it's hilarious. It's very vulgar. Um, and, but it's all, you know, in humor. So if you have not seen it and you're a, you know, fan of, relatively vulgar you know male humor or whatever i would i would recommend checking it out i really enjoy it i think it's very unique uh-oh snitch snitch is a known informant so we are going to make him protective custody that's good that we caught that. Good job, team. Nobody's dying today. Not on my watch. <clears throat> so, we didn't find anything with the tunnel search. We will do a... Um, what you who's it today? A shakedown at 3 o'clock. Other than that, let's just kind of keep monitoring the situation. I really don't like that the dog handlers are coming from here to here. When it's like, if you look at this, they're going from here all the way to this point. There is no way that that is closer than from here to this point. Even though they have to go like this and then down here, like it's still shorter than for them to go. <whistles> like that just doesn't make sense, guys. They're going to be tired by the time they get there. <sighs> the struggle is real. We're doing a better job of monitoring snitches and um, exports to avoid, you know, bottlenecks and other issues like death. Death is an issue. We're only up 10,000 for the episode, and this makes me a little sad. And our morale is down to 79%. What is going on? Serious complaints. What are my staff needs? So, like, prison needs, clothing is a big one, but that probably gets fixed when laundry gets dispersed. Staff needs food, rest, warmth like they should have access to all of those things bladder there are toilets in the staff room there are heaters in the staff room there are beds and couches in the staff room there's food in the staff room like is there not enough food because there's a snack machine they could just get a snack 
I just don't understand it. What is the problem here, guys? <clears throat> Alright, so 3 o'clock we will kick off a shakedown. And then we won't need to do anything else until the uh, tunnel search uh, on the morning of the day 140. And that's probably about the point where we'll wrap up the episode. Uh, so I'm trying to think of anything that we could talk about between now and then. Other than the fact that it's really cold at my house. And it's cold outside. And it's making me cough a lot. And everybody thinks I've got the Rona that I'm around. But I don't have the Rona. I just don't. So, my brother has it. Uh, lives up in New York. Him, his wife, and one of his daughters all got it. Two of the daughters so far have tested negative, which is... Honestly, like... You don't want them to get it, but you almost do want them to get it, but just have it be a very mild case or whatever. Because what will happen is, like, if they test negative over and over and over, and then, like, next week they test positive, then everybody can't go to school again for another, like, two-week quarantine window or whatever, or ten days. I don't know what they're doing. I mean, it's in New York, so I bet it's two weeks. But anyway, um, no symptoms really from any of them, which is good, but three in the household tested positive, so that's a bummer. Um, and interestingly enough, it's the three that are vaccinated, because my you know, brother and sister-in-law are vaccinated. Now, they don't have their, I don't think they got their booster yet. Uh-oh. What just happened? This is that legendary dude that we saw come in earlier, I bet. And he roughed up a guard. But nobody died. So that's good. That doesn't affect days without incident. So that $10,000 bonus right there is huge. Let's keep that going. Oh, we missed the shakedown window. I started talking about COVID. All right, we got to watch the uh, door control systems here. Nothing else should really matter that much unless they find tunnels or whatever. And if that happens, I'll just pause it, tell my guys to go fix that, and then unpause it. With this many guards... The um, shakedowns should go pretty quick, considering how much space we've got to cover. Um, Uh-oh. Uh-oh. There's nobody man in this station here. So we just need to kind of watch the doors. The doors should all be open right now anyway. Okay, are you going to go sit down? Yes. That's one nice thing about doing the shakedown um, during the day like this is that the doors to, this, you know, the, all of the remote doors that the guards would need to access um should be locked open because of the door timers anyway. So. Anyway. Finding a fair amount of contraband here. But no tunnels. <clears throat> Staff morale is up a little bit from where it was the last time we checked. We're going to have a little bit more room for medium capacity in this next one. But we're really close to having an issue with maximum security. Let's go ahead and stop the shakedown. We're close enough. We got all but like three or four spots. Let's get our guards freed up again. 
I don't know what's up with this laundry right here. Like, I want to... Can I dump the prisoner uniform? Like, there are laundry baskets that have been sitting there. It's driving me crazy. I mean, those have been there for a long time. What's up with that, guys? Dump. Dump. There's a, I mean, there's just a mountain of them. I don't know what to do about it. It looks like it's going to take me a while to dump them all. Dump. I mean, I could dump the laundry baskets, but it's just a visual thing that's driving me crazy because I don't know why they would be there and why a janitor wouldn't grab it and take it back to laundry. Because look, there are like no baskets in here. Is that? Well, there's a basket, there's a basket. If I go to logistics and say laundry distribution like it doesn't really sh it shows me where they're supposed to be taking stuff but what it doesn't show me is where stuff is actually going like if i go to food distribution it'll tell me how many there are demanded and how many are supplied or whatever you don't get that with laundry unfortunately so that's kind of a bummer, but I suppose we could just keep going like this for a while and dumping. Uh, oh, look at all the exports. We can keep dumping the outfits there. And hopefully if we dump them all, I can I can even say I believe if I say like you should be able to dismantle a laundry basket there if I do that that will move it to storage boom if I can get them moved into storage that might solve a problem. All right, we need to do our tunnel search for tonight. 10 o'clock tunnel search. Then we'll do one in the morning again. Yeah, money is not flowing as I would have hoped. It might fluctuate some because of like the number of inmates that we get each day. And that we get rid of each day. I got to sell this stuff off. Then I need to check our um, amount of... That's a lot of garbage over here. Jeez. I need to check intake here. So we've got room for 5 minimum and 11 medium. Shakedown complete. 5 and 11, right? Let's go, boom, five and 11, five and 12 now. Uh-oh, we're up to 35 criminally insane though. That's not good, y'all. We could end up having some problems here. So we'll have to continue to monitor that and make sure that we don't go over. If we do, the problem is, like, I'll probably have to take these cells and convert them to padded cells. In fact, why is this one right here a cell already? Oh, you know what that is? We had that set up as a cell for that 
uh, maximum security dude, and then we just change that strategy. I want to get rid of that bunk bed, or get rid of the comfy bed. Dismantle that, and then go in here, and then let's say bunk bed. Go like this. And now make that room a dormitory. So they'll come in. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I was going to say they'll come in and they'll install that bunk bed, and that'll solve that problem. We've got a serious traffic jam here, guys. What's going on? Okay, there it goes. I was like, I don't even see any trash or anything. So 5, 12. We're all set for intake in the morning. Uh, so let's get through our... Actually, let's get to like 6 a.m. And save it there before the tunnel search and the intake that is, uh, you know, imminent. And then we'll be all set. Come on, get this bed installed. Wasn't the guy already on his way to do it? What is he doing? Oh my gosh. Boy, you talk about going the... Where? Oh, he's got to go, I bet, out here to get this bunk bed. <laughs> and then all the way back down here. Which means in the meantime... No? No? I was going to say, where's, uh, he's maximum security, maximum security, maximum security. Where'd they put that other guy? I don't know, but, uh, I'm glad he's not in the holding cell because he'd probably end up getting killed. They'd be like, what's up with you, chump? Please don't kill me. I'm just waiting for my new comfy bed. All right, I think this is probably a good place to kill it. Uh, in the morning, we will have tunnel search to do. We'll have some new inmates arriving, 17 of them to be exact, so it'll be a nice day financially, hopefully. Um, but if you have not done so already, please be sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, comment below, and we will see you all next time.